What up, YouTube? This is your boy Liger, one half and duo with another WTF. And these things are coming out rapidly fast. It's funny how gaming just can't keep quiet on certain things. So, this is WTF. Basically, I have a question to Slightly Mad Studios. Let me see. You first brought out the game for Wii U. You had a Kickstarter. And you said, yo, this game is going to be Kickstarted to be on uh, the Wii U platform. That is what you said is going to happen. So you're working on the Wii U version. You asked for people to kickstart for their money. You got the money funded for it. But wait. Now Co Bandai saw that you guys could do something good. So now Co Bandai published your game. So what happened to the Wii U version that you're working on all the time when people was giving you money for that version? Hmm. That is a question I want to ask. Then I have to ask another question, which is this. So, you worked on that game, you worked on the PlayStation version of the game, the PlayStation version of the game, of course, you could copy and paste to PC and also to um, Xbox One. Well, Xbox One fans, I have a question, if, why don't we ask Slightly Mad Studios another question, which is this, how come you ain't optimized for the Xbox One version. Let me see. We got it at 900p. We have buggy game. We have lower frame rate that drops way be below 30 frames per second. And you didn't put a lot of emphasis into the Xbox One controller to make it, you know, make it unique. Hmm. That seems a little weird as well too, don't it? See, and then now you're saying that you have problems with the same version of doing it for the Wii U. So you're telling me you got the developer's money, you got the publisher's money, you put the Wii U version on the back burner, and then you, you port these games, didn't optimize for these games, for the, for the, for the other console, and then when, you, when those games are out, you're going to put in, you, wait a minute, this video that's playing right now. Huh, I wonder why it's deleted from the Kickstarter back then because according to what you said and according to what I ran through my computer, this is at 60 frames per second, 1080p on the Wii U that you was trying to push to us. Wow. How far the mighty has fallen. And now, a lot of Wii U people who send you money to back the game, how are they going to get their money back? I hope you refund them. See... This basically answers two full questions right here that I always say gamers you need to take a look at and watch carefully. One is third party publishers and developers, they don't care about you gamers. They care about the almighty dollars. If they care about you, they care about the presidents that's in your wallet or queen or whatever country you're in. They just care about that. The sad part is they they showed a video which you're seeing right now that it ran perfectly good on the nintendo wii u console 60 frames per second 1080p but because you didn't want to use you had a lot of money come in and the publisher you jump on the publishers how should i say dick and then you take their money and because the publishers say hey they're not gonna give you more money for that well what happened to the money that the people gave you to crowdfund for the game oh you took the money and just didn't care about it so that part of they saying that the game can't run on the Wii U, nah, they're just lazy. They just didn't want to do it. They were just lazy bums who just didn't want to get the um, do the game because they have, like I said, on their Kickstarter, they have videos showing that it could run 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Wii U. They 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 showed that this game was for the Wii U in the first place because they didn't think they didn't have enough competition with Forza, Drive Club, Gran, Gran Turismo, and all that stuff. They say, hey, let's put it on the Wii U, but you know what? Slight, uh, slightly mad studios i'm sorry i mean you're one of your next developer right now that just that in my opinion just jumped in my burn file and this is also one of the reasons i'm kind of hit and miss with capcom uh, i'm not, not capcom namco bandai because they do certain things i don't like and they do certain things i do like so right now namco bandai is on that fringe smash brothers project cross zone good tails um tails this right here no, because of how they set up things, I don't like that. And the next one is is a Kickstarter. 
Now, for everybody out there who goes out there and jump on and say, yo, let's do the Kickstarter with, um, of course, with um, Eco's game with the Blood of Symphony, and of course, Ukulele, and Mighty Number no. 9, and um, Chante, the Half Genie. All those are great games that's coming out. I'm happy for them. And those who support it, I'm happy that you support it. That's good. I support what I think is a good developer. I would do that. But this is not once, not twice, and this is not even a Nintendo thing. This is an all console things. When 80% of the games that get funded by you know Kickstarter sometimes, they found out these guys going with low expectation and they found problems, and then of course they don't give the money back. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And then also sometimes they don't get to the fund that they need, and it, it, it's crowdfunding is good to a degree but please again just like i said with game reviews and everything you guys look do you research about the people you're, you're gonna give money to because kickstarter also has its problem so please look into who you're giving your money to now again this right here project cars i was looking forward to it even if even if they didn't came to the Wii, which again it started on the Wii, and I mean on the Wii U. Even if they didn't came to the Wii U, I would have bought it for PC. But now that they're doing this and they're lying, I can't I can't support them. I can't support them. My proof is on the video right now you're watching. I can't support them. And third parties once again has done not Nintendo fans gaming itself. That's why I say there's a gaming bubble. We ask and we demand for certain many things. Now I have no problem with the game. For me, I have no problem if the game was in 30 frames per second. But the problem is not that. The problem is that the excuses they give. Come out and say, hey, give us the true excuse, the, the true reasoning, and don't tell me about it. And see, on this version, it's not Arctic because you have the game running on the Wii U before you got bought out by the publisher. So don't give me that um, BS. But you know what? I wish you guys good luck. I wish all the people out there who are buying this game on the PlayStation 4 and the PC and, um, and PC, you guys are loving it, enjoy it. It's coming out for Steam later on. Hey, if Steam comes out, it goes on a Steam sale, people might pick it up there too. Me, I'm not touching it. I don't like when people try to mess with mess with my f money in that way and they give me excuses that that makes no sense. Again, you had you got crowdfunded for the Wii U. You got bought by a publisher. You put the Wii U version on the back burner. You had videos showing that it ran at 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Wii U, and now you're making an excuse because you just don't. You you're more greedy now, and you're lazy. No, sorry. Slightly Man Studios. I wish you the best of luck. PlayStation guys who are buying this game. I hope you guys are having fun. Same thing with the PC guys. Hope you guys are having fun. I'm not that kind of person to downplay anybody out there having fun with the game. For me though, I'm looking at something different. Wish y'all luck. Cause I know there are no perfect games out there and that's and I I will take the 30 frames per second, but again, you, you can't keep it at a certain rate, I don't care. So with that said, there's no perfect game out there. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me, what's perfect to me is not perfect to you. Simply play them games.